Are you serious? Are you serious? Prophecy alert, a prophecy alert. Drought in the Holy Land. We're in a fifth year now. What well, could be maybe a seven-year drought? I don't know. It's, it is year number five in the Holy Land as the Dead Sea area is drying up. Unbelievable. But there's prophecy that can confirm this, and we'll show you that in just a moment. But first, get a cup of coffee, everybody. Calm down. Let's look and see what the prophetic word says. Are you serious? A drought in the Holy Land. Well, Israel heads into its fifth consecutive year of drought. The Sea of Galilee stands at the lowest it's been in a hundred years. Much of the Jordan River is nothing but a trickle, and the Dead Sea is rapidly shrinking. The biblical bodies of water, the pilgrimage sites for baptisms and beach parties alike are crucial to the survival and stability of Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian people. But more and more of the river of the ancient Israelis crossed into the Holy Land is drying up. The result of climate change, some would say, others say growing populations, but I don't see how that really is making much of a difference there. The water basin is dotted with sacred sites for the Jews, for Muslims and even Christians, and Jesus, who was baptized in the River Jordan and who walked on the waters of the Sea of Galilee and multiplied the loaves and the fishes. But those areas are seeing the waters receding. It is a major issue, folks. Now, I went to the Bible to find out a little bit more about this because obviously we have a biblical concern. In the scriptures, the Bible does tell us that there would be droughts in the last day. Uh, and But I noticed in the book of Isaiah chapter 44, give me one second, Isaiah 44, verse 27, which is really strange that this would be here because it talks about King Cyrus. But here's what it said. It says in verse 27, um, that saith to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. That saith to Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even say unto Jerusalem, thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. So this, here's the last two verses of the 44th chapter of Isaiah refers to the waters of the Holy Land being dried up, but King Cyrus rebuilt, establishing Jerusalem and the laying of the foundation of the temple. And then, of course, you can read Isaiah 45, and a lot of people have compared King Cyrus's anointing on President Donald Trump because he said that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, so he established Jerusalem. And, and then he moved the U.S. Embassy there to confirm it, to make it the eternal city of God. And now they're talking about laying the foundation of the third temple. King Cyrus had the foundation of the second temple laid. And uh, Trump is compared to that. Uh, and so they've even made a temple coin that has the face of King Cyrus and the face of President Donald Trump on the front of the coin. And, the, and it says it's the temple coin, and on the back, it's a picture of the temple on the back, the third temple. So there's definitely a prophecy here, but the waters drying up is a part of the prophecy. We're in year five of a biblical drought. Now, now I can tell you, <clears throat> and I know it's true because I've been to Israel uh, eight times, and every time I go, uh, every time I go over to the Sea of Galilee, I notice that the water level is lower and lower. And so it's quite significant. It's not just the Sea of Galilee, but it's the Jordan River and the Dead Sea. All of it is shrinking. Now, there's another scripture if you go with me to the book of Jeremiah. Because in the book of Jeremiah, it talks about a biblical drought in the land. And this would be in verse, um, uh, this is in chapter 50, verse 38, the Lord said, a drought is upon her waters, 
and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Now, he was talking there, of course, to the Babylonian Empire uh, in that day. He went on to say, therefore, the wild beast of the desert with the wild beast of the islands uh, shall dwell there. The owls shall dwell therein. It shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. And God overthrew Sodom and Gormiah as he did it. And the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Now this, of course, referring to the area of the Dead Sea area. And that prophecy has and is coming to pass, just like God said he would in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49. He said where Sodom and Gormiah, those cities, plus the other five cities that surrounded it, they've all were consumed by the fire of God. They've all been destroyed. God prophesied that never again will people really dwell there and live there like they did back then in the biblical days, and they haven't. And now those waters are drying up. So there's some prophecy involved in this, and uh, also there's the uh, information that's been coming out here this year. It's the fifth year of the biblical drought. Uh, uh, Israel heads into its fifth consecutive year of drought, the biblical body. Uh, of water are now under threat. We're in the end times, guys. We're in the end times. Even Jesus said, when asked the question, what will be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Jesus said these words, well, false Christ and false prophets shall rise and they shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, droughts. There will be pestilences or diseases, famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in divers places. And you guys know in the last three weeks, we've been experiencing major earthquakes, 22 significant earthquakes in less than a month. And the aftershocks continue to ring out everywhere. Of course, the earth was reeling and rocking for such a long time, for over three months there because of what was happening in, uh, in Hawaii with that volcano and all those earthquakes that were just continued. But the world is shaking and quaking, and we're in the end times. Don't miss today's live broadcast. I'll be live at 12 noon Eastern at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also live right here on YouTube, and I'll be live at New Live Stream and Roku Satellite Television. We'll also be live on Periscope, and you can watch us live or listen to us live if you have a cell phone, you're working, you don't want to miss the broadcast, the number to call and listen on your phone. You can do that at 605, uh, you know what, I can't remember the number, just left my mind. I'm so sorry, I'll put it in the description below. All right, you'll need the access code, so I'll put it all there, the phone number and the access code. It just, it just left my mind. I'll be back with more. What? No, I'm not losing my mind. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just, just you know, senior moment. Did I say a senior moment? What? Just more coffee is needed.